Hi everybody, welcome to the Astrology Chat for June 8th, 2024. So the keys for today are to let yourself have the hard feelings. Uh, the guys today are in several ways saying it's time to sit down and be honest about your feelings. And we're all getting kind of like a snapshot, download, diagnostic of all of our relationships. Our relationship with other people, our relationship with self, our relationship with the material, our relationship with spirit, wherever we are needing somebody else, right? The guys today are saying, what's going on here? Are you being true to yourself? Are you, have you integrated your lessons? Just like, what's going on? And I say this is the moon in Cancer. The moon in Cancer, this is the house of feeling. This is about what nurtures us. This is about our internal line, uh, how we are taught to nurture ourselves or not. I really we're being called today to pay attention to our feelings and as much as you can you know and in any way that you can allow yourself to be aware of where you don't feel that love where you feel like there's something that needs to process or you have to go underneath the surface to really understand and today is not the day that you're going to like all of a sudden find the answer but today is a really good day to feel that awareness and do something about it. Take a commitment to like talk to a therapist or to start journaling or you realize when you dance that you can process your feelings. Like look for the thing that helps you process your deeper side that isn't about being overboard, that isn't about disassociating and that it isn't about denying. And especially since we have Venus in square to Saturn, Saturn today. And so there is very much, this is Venus in um, Gemini, who is running a diagnostic about, like, do the people in my life see me? Do my relationships see me? Do I know enough information about what I do want to know about? Or do I need to know more information about what I need to let go of? Meeting with Saturn that is in Pisces and saying, like, what what structure, right? What are the spiritual lessons? What are the uh, unseen energies? What are your relationships with the magic and creation and just the ethers of it all really and how are you building a way to process what you have experienced to understand what you have experienced and also to go through those things so that your tests can become testimonies and that's not necessarily an easy lift to do which is why today I definitely suggest like be easy um, with yourself in the process especially by not focusing on exactly what the conclusion is just saying, okay, this is one thing I need to heal, this is something I need to process. Well, she seems to have a semi square to both Uranus and Jupiter. So this is where there's going to, it's going to be really easy to disassociate. It's going to be really easy to like go back into a direction that you're just used to. The strength is not letting yourself do that. That aha moment of like, this is something I always do, or this is just too much, or it's not feeding me. Just there's just something in excess or out of bounds that if you allow yourself to say like, oh, this is something I don't actually want to keep on doing. If you allow yourself to use the trine that we have to Saturn today to grow, to heal, to connect, to comprehend, to create, to learn how to feed your soul, how to feed your mind, how to feed yourself in the long term, you are going to be honoring that tension between the nodes. We have a square to the north node. Um, into the notes that says like i'm here to learn the lessons of my release so that i can get closer to myself and the more i get closer to myself the more i actually know who and what vibrates for me the more i know who i am after the healing the more i know that i can heal right and so it's in the pressure it's also in the honesty so don't be afraid to do either with yourself and if that means that you realize that you aren't with the right people go ahead and like pray journal like the, you know you don't always have to take everything to everybody else um but at the same time do recognize the fact that you do want people who you can trust and who do feel like home and allow yourself to play into that truth it's not all or nothing it's certainly not disassociating is not going to make it all disappear and being super obsessive about everything that's on the table isn't going to help you understand how to deconstruct and change and heal it's something in the middle so let yourself find the middle today and do it with that you know, pivot point centered on love and understanding of yourself and of other people. Even if that means that you're going to walk away from them. So walk towards yourself. I love you guys so much. I'll see you tomorrow.